of Putting Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the Elusive Samurai Chapter 38. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored, and I'm just on a non-stop, high-speed struggle train heading into chaos. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my Cash Up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. Last fucking chapter was epic. I mean, for crying out loud, Matsui went in. And it's at the right time, too, because um, yesterday, well, today, uh, is the um, Japanese congressional elections. That's why we got the chapter that we did last week, which was brilliant. I love you so much for this, Matsui. I do. It was already fantastic enough that he went in on progressives. He went in on, um, conservatives. He went in on everybody. He, it was no fucking mercy, no mercy, savage as hell, but God damn, God damn, the art was fantastic to boot. It's no wonder, no wonder that this manga, volume one of this manga, has sold close, or not close, over half a million copies. Anyways, we got new generals here. I am so looking forward to this. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Attention, my three most trusted generals. I have an astounding announcement to make. Ta da da! Jojo Maru has been working at Suwa Grand Shrine since last year, but he's actually Lord Hojo's heir, uh, Tokiyuki Hojo. They're like, what? Oh, what? Um, that's all you have to say? Shouldn't you be more shocked? I was looking forward to that. Yoshiki sama our loyalty is to you. Whoa, what? And that's um, Nezu uh, uh, Yoinao, great um, general of the right Suwa uh, sect. Wait a minute. Not a crescent moon right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you've taken up the cause of this child, then we shall obey. So that's who you are. Sorry for making you pour my sake. Um, and that... <laughs> Mochiz uh, Mochizuki um, Shigenobu, great general of the left, Suicide. Yet we must not be overly... Um, uh, conscious of this fact. Until you reveal your identity, you remain the apprentice, Chojimaru, and I will treat you as such in the presence of others. All right? And, um... And this is Uno uh, Yukiyasu, great general of the center Sua sect. I fucking love you so much again. These are political ideologies. So we got the strict conservative well strict stern conservative then we got the like laid back liberal and we got the centrist i love it i love it so much we got the crescent moon too you know for the for the for the right we have the um you know the circles you know uh, for, uh, for the left. And then I love that for the centrist, you know, you have like both, you have the square and the circle. I love it so much. I think this is so smart. They keep their distance for a good reason. Their loyalty is to Yoroshige Dono, not to the Hojo. Yes. That, and again, that it just is so smart. Aw, he's pouting. Um, give him something sweet. The people who have dedicated themselves to Sua, uh, Myojin, and Sh uh, Shinano are united by long years of trust. I love this. It's so different than what we saw um, last week. It's the complete opposite, where you have, like, so much corruption going on. Um, like, misallocation, uh, obviously, misallocation of funds and corruption and lies and deceit and pride and all of that. It's the opposite here where it's everything is balanced. You don't have this conflict going on uh, between um, the left and the leftists and and uh, and the conservatives and the centrists. You don't have this conflict going on. Everyone's not butting heads. No, you have that balance. 
I just really love that what that Matsui is doing this. This is brilliant. I love this manga so much. More people need to be reading this, especially over here in the West. If more people in the West aren't reading this, why? Why not? Well, it's getting a uh, believe it's getting a physical release please viz if you are doing a digital only release for this manga i'm gonna be so pissed meanwhile the kakushi's mansion no at least spare my wife you got the other side the other side of things speaking of um winter doth commit murder of hateful rebels more than any other scum if you're on social media, especially um, Twitter, Meta, well, we change it to Meta, but Facebook, you know what I'm talking about. Facebook, YouTube, whatever. You know this person very well. The Hakushi sounds very familiar, don't he? You have instructed me well, Akasawara Dono. So, have my archery skills improved? Yes, Lord. Dude, he's just like, mm, why am I doing this? Torturing them got them to talk, but more rebels remain in hiding, despite my benefit, um, uh, beneficial rule. It says bene beneficent, but I think it's supposed to be beneficial, but whatever. Or, wait a minute, whatever. Um, in uh, Kyo, the Mikado, wait, wait bene yeah, beneficent. I'm sorry, I am fucking up right now. Let me read this again. Let's go back. My ADHD is going to drive me nuts if I don't. Uh, let's see. Torturing them got them to talk, but more rebels remaining in hiding, despite my beneficent rule. Ha, there we go. In Kyo, the Mikado gave me um, a decree of subjugation, so this time I'll kill them all. Yes! I feel the bloodlust, the killing intent! And the other thing that's great about this, because for a minute I was going to be like, why isn't this darker? But I understand why Matsui went with this color palette. Because he feels like, this motherfucker feels like he's God. That he's God's gift to man. And um, that he, and he's on a complete power trip. So it's like a good combination of bloodlust and divinity. Love it. His motivation and cruelty have increased. He fled to Kyo but came back and changed man. I love the look of cringe on this man. It's so epic. Look at that look of cringe. Oh my god. Okasawara, the cringe. The cringe! Like, this is this would be the perfect meme for High Guardian Spice. Oh my god, this word you cannot deny. How is this and I love and also this is how you would totally see the see uh the Kakushi. It is. It is. How is his archery? Better, but still sorely lacking. He's just a courtier. Mm-hmm. God this mother <laughs> He's the fucking la he's like one of those um those uh, limousine liberals, those elitist limousine uh, shepherds. That's who, that's who the Kakushi is making me think of, those fucking yuppies. He can hit targets inside a cage, but that is no use in battle. Yeah, and he's Daniel. <laughs> Not Daniel, I'm sorry. He's Alan Baldwin. <laughs> oh, your timing is epic. Matsui, it is. Yeah, he is oddly confident. Does he really intend to go in the front? This is the JW yuppies. These are the limo. Uh, these are what I mean by like the elite, elitist limousine, like liberal um, shepherds. I'm talking about like the AOCs, the um, the uh, oh my god, Elon Omar's, the uh, Maxine Waters, the Nancy Pelosi's. That's what this motherfucker is. <laughs> he is. And yes, and like those motherfuckers in Hollywood, like Alec Baldwin. Mm -hmm. March 13, uh, 35, the flames of tumult arise in northern Shinano. This page is beautiful. With a decree to subjugate any Hojo sympathizers throughout the land, Emperor Godaigo launched a concerted attack. And this chapter is titled Tumult, uh, tumult in Shinano, 1335. Beautiful, as usual, Matsui. To the far north, um, 
Tokiwa, uh, if I'm butchering pronunciation, sorry. Um, Muni, uh, to the north, Hoshina Sh uh, Shinomiya. No! That's the Shinomiyas! Even back in the day, they were freaking, um, they were freaking gangsta. Damn. Um, in the center, Inukai, uh, Tomomitsu. Uh, targeting those three principal forces forces of resistance. The combined armies of the Kakushi and um, the Shugo launched an offensive. This would be the last and largest preliminary skirmish before Tokiyuki's uprising in four months' time. Mm, so my guess is after this, we're going to get a four-month time skip. That's what I'm getting. I'm very curious what you guys think. Uh, the mission of the elusive warriors this time is to function as a denry. Denry? Um... Messengers who race from battle battlefield to battlefield conveying uh, reports and orders. There are multiple battlefields spread um, spread out across a large area. In order uh, to share accurate information among them, I need a messenger no one can intercept. I have to avoid capture? That sounds hard! Um, we will treasure our lives, and whether we lose or flee, we will dedicate ourselves to uh, to his goals. As before, the goal is to minimize casualties. The three great generals will secretly uh, lead small um, contingents of elite uh, warriors as reinforcements to each battle or to each battlefield. Visit those three areas and learn about my right hand men. Bukashi Fort, Fucho uh, Shinano, a messenger from the shrine. He must be the one everyone's talking about. Uh, and that's uh, Inukai uh, Tomomitsu, uh, Fukashi Magistrate. Oh, people are talking about me? Uh-huh. They say you excel at escaping the, sh uh, the shrine and you're some kind of weirdo who darts around battlefields as naked as a jaybird. <laughs> what the fuck? Who's telling these people this? That's exaggerated. <laughs> yeah, but that is not by much. Anyway, how goes the battle? Um, Yoshiki-sama uh, said you should retreat if necessary. That's the crazy thing. Unosama's reinforcements are uh, few in number, but ferocious. They'll never let Osagawara's Osaga, um, army near this fort. Unosama's a formidable presence. I wonder what he's like. He's a top general in the Suicide Sect. Who, uh, he's a top general in the Suicide Sect who has performed countless feats of martial prowess. He's even uh, impresses on. He's even impressive off the battlefield. He's always dignified and composed. The shrine maidens are head over heels for him. He is a kind and, and considerate to all. But the other warriors hinted at something more. They said you still don't know the half of it. Ooh. Greetings, Shijimaru Dono. Inform my lord that this fort shall not fall as long as Uno um, Yukiyasu is here. He's so cool! He's good, dude! Where's the eye? Dude, he's so cool. He don't even need an eye patch. You know, no. They've breached the North Gate. What? Son of Muni, I might have known the force uh, we uh, we repelled was a diversion. He drew our attention um, to the south as he sent soldiers around the north. Uh, Una Dono. Tujimara Dono, um, have you ever known a woman? Huh? Of course not. We're only ten. Like, why are you asking them this? But someday we'll grow up like you and me neither. Huh? I have not known a woman either. Wait, what? I'm defenseless to their charms. When what, when they speak to me, my blood rises in turmoil. What? Even in the company of, of the shrine maidens, my heart pounds and my body burns. Why is he telling us this? I use that heat in the service of uh, Suomiyojin. My blood boils for women, but I pour it into... Um, Bellicosity backed by muscle. I burn and pour and pour and per and um and perfect. Thus have I honed myself for decades. When a, a warrior of Kamakura remains pure until age thirty, he becomes a lord of carnage. Dude, this panel, this panel's fucking everything. Like this whole thing is just wait, like this is a fucking gorgeous metaphorical art, but. I think I don't, dude, are, what, bro, I think he's saying he's homo, like, what the shit, are you saying you homo, bro, oh my god, if he is saying what I think he is saying, then I think Matsui is going in on the, uh, on the community, because he, what he's doing is he's saying to Marvel and DC, like, motherfucker, this is how you do a coming out. <laughs> That's how you do it! He's, wow, he's 
so cool. Like, they're all saying he's so cool. But, I don't know. Dude, like, just, dude, I feel like my gator is going off. I don't know. I'm really curious what you guys think. Do you guys think he's saying he's gay? And by doing this, like, compared to, like, what, I feel like he's ripping on, not just, Hol but not just Marvel and DC, but, like, the woke Hollywood, um, um, the woke uh, entertainment industry, Western entertainment industry, because, remember, they are so blunt with their LGBTQ plus shit that, like, the, that it just comes off as, like, uber cringy, whereas this, like, this comes off like really manly and boss. I, I, <laughs> that's why they're saying it's, it's so cool. I know. And I love that earlier in the chapter, like with the Kakushi, I think that was supposed to represent like the Western entertainment industry and how cringy it is. And my point it is, I really feel like that's what it is, and that that represents like the SJWs and shit. I do, and like this mofo represents, you know, um, what's going on in uh, in manga and shit. I really do. I feel like that's what it represents. I it represents that you have the West and then you have the East. That's what's been going on up in here for a minute. You have Western culture and Eastern culture. I'm really curious what you, or you know what I mean, Western entertainment and Eastern entertainment, like manga and anime. Well, anime has been infiltrated, so I can't say anime. But you know what I mean. I'm really curious what you guys think. Do you guys think this chapter is like reflecting, um, is make is going in on Western comics and um, with uh, the Kakushi representing Western comics and this, and um, obviously, uh, hold on, um, and Uno um, Dodo representing manga. Like, that's what it really is giving me. Where you have the Kakushi. The Kakushi is like, he really is that like flamboyant gay caricature. And you have Uno um, being like that masculine, uh, giving off that masculine gayness going on. It really seems like this. I'm curious what you guys think, if I'm getting the same thing, if you guys are picking up the same thing that I am. It really seems this way to me. I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan's Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, um, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.